Okay, tubers, here's our experimental cyclone slash vent filter. Okay, this is that Purex filter you saw before, and we took the other filters out. We run, it's upside down right now, so this is a, a condensate drain that I brazed into the top of this thing so that I could put my, my jar on there. Let's take, a look, take this off. Now, that's a sparkless bottle. It just happened to fit right on the fitting in there on the neck, and I cut the bottom off. And I packed it first, and I put a little screen in the neck, hold things up. Then I put, first I put these, uh, just a handful of these, like, clay balls in there. As a, like, I make sure that, um, things didn't suck out, just kind of like a screen. Then I packed it most of the way with this sawdust, and I got it free from the lumber yard. They, uh, let me clean up their saw for free, and they said, have it, cool, man, you know, open source, right? And then to make sure that it all didn't fall out, we packed about two inches of this volcanic cinder, which I also get for free from across my, the street from my house. It's for when it snows, for traction. And what we did is, uh, I took a weed net to hold everything in because you can get air through it real nice, and it's pretty, pretty tough. I used duct tape to hold the thing, whole thing together, because I want to see how it works first. And then if it works really well, we'll make something more permanent out of, say, like a five-gallon bucket or something. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, my new idea. So the smoke will come in through the side and spin around until it comes down to the bottom and then comes in through the filter and has to exit out through the filter in order to get to the pump. So there we are. We're going to try and assemble this soon and procure some fuel and give it a run. Thank you.